Mm, mm. I'm going to say something. I really don't like to be in this space right here, but I'm going to have to cover it because it is a mental house story. And um, for those of y'all who know what we about, we talk about uh, the craziness that goes on in this society that we've accepted as normal um, because a person is rich or because they are uh, can read very well or have a lot of knowledge on a certain subject or um, and we clearly miss the mark of the shit that they're doing that's oops that stuff that they're doing that is uh, purposely psychotic okay so as we sit back and analyze this situation with Kim Kardashian um Kanye West and those children that uh, they have together and the fake, uh, how you say it, um, I guess impression that everybody wants to, uh, the narrative that everybody wants to set, like he's so crazy about his kids. Oh, he's so crazy about his kids. Okay? So he moved across the street from her. And I hear a lot of uh, people say, oh, good. You know, he is one to go ahead, Kanye. Do what you need to do so you can be next to your kids, man. You know, and that's a very weak argument from a very uh, weak place. First of all, uh, he knew exactly the kind of woman Kim was when he married her, right? Okay. Because he talked all that craziness. Uh, then he leaves you for a white girl, right? Okay. So, as you watch the madness that has unraveled and has become Kanye West, you have to realize that people that have severe, strong personality disorders or real strong mental disorders, one of their favorite peeves things to do is to stalk individuals. So those of y'all who are talking about he's doing what he's doing because he's want to be so close to his children, uh, he wants to stalk his children. And he wants to stalk Kim, basically, is what he really wants to do. And the children are being used as a pawn in this game. Okay, I, I am, I'm not fooled by it, not one bit. Now, the way he got up there and started screaming and talking about it, he wanted to kill his kids and the things that he said and done in his outbursts uh, with uh, Donald Trump being his father when he has a father that's alive on the planet. First of all, he has a lot of repenting to do. If, if y'all said that he's not psychotic, because if he's not psychotic, then he owes the black community, first of all, a damn apology and is for saying that Donald Trump is his daddy. That's an insult. Okay? Now, second of all, then he ran for president. All this stuff that you're doing and you didn't put out in front of me showing me that he's not um, a very focused parent at all. So now that Kim is with this, uh, been going out with the Pete Davidson guy, um, he then went crazy and found this woman, Fox, whoever she is. Um, and I guess who was a, um, well, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, uh, say it, what she is. Y'all can just look her up. But what I will say, so now all of a sudden he's in the hallway laying down, kissing her like they such in love and this, that, and the other, which is so psychotic. And for her to put herself in a position like that, to be used like that. That's why I said the people in Hollywood don't have no morals and no scruples or nothing because they're willing to do any damn thing to be relevant. So she's willing to allow herself to be used like that. Him, like, like he's, oh, he really serious about her. He buying her all this stuff and they're kissing on the ground and he got his photographers in the background. All this to make him jealous. She's totally aware of it. So then she go at him even harder because when you've been in Involved with a sick person. Once you get away from their ass, okay, it can go both ways. It can be like you know what, 
Okay, I'm going to give you a chance because I really care about you and I know you're sick. And I'm going to try to deal with your sickness. And But when it gets to the point where it's really destroying me and who I am, then I got to get away from your sick ass. And that's exactly the decision that Kim made. And for those guys that are sitting there saying that it's only because he's such a great father and he loves his children so much that he wants to be next to him, knock it off. Knock it off until he get a full psyche evaluation. Now, that's my opinion. Now, it's a reason why she let him see all the other rest of the kids. Why she didn't let him see that? The Chicago. I guess that's the one that, uh, that's the one that, that was adopted. Okay. But I'm saying if he, it was, it wasn't like he didn't see the other three. It was just one child. So what's the deal with that? Nobody is asking why, if that's true, then that means he saw the rest of the children. He was just complaining that he didn't see, uh, Chicago. Right. Ain't that what one his kid's name is? So if that's the case, why didn't she? Allow him to see Chicago. Is Chicago traumatized by his behavior? Is, uh, is Chicago traumatized by some of his episodes? Because I'm here to protect the children in this mess. Because uh, uh, all the shit that we put on the kids is what make them be crazy adults. All the arguing, all the fussing, all the fighting, all the drama. And you don't know how that child is receiving all that bullshit. So maybe Chicago is a more sensitive one out of the batch. And her mama is doing the right thing to keep her away from him right now. Until things settle down. Because her responsibility is to keep her child safe. Not a photo op. Okay? So that's my opinion. I didn't want to stay on it long, but that's my take on it. I want to hear what y'all going to say about Kanye being and, um, and saying K Kim is keeping his kids away from him and uh, nah, nah, all this wine, baby wine shit. Don't talk that now. <laughs> anyway, that's my opinion about it. I want to know what you want, what you think. Leave your comments below.